Um, you know, do you believe there should be a special counsel appointed to investigate the allegations against Hunter Biden? No, I think to the extent that uh, there's an inv investigation, I think that it's being handled responsibly and professionally uh, currently within the, the department. And to this point, I have not seen a reason to appoint a special counsel, and I have no plan to do so before I leave. Yes. Uh, are you at all, do you have any concerns or worries that your, uh, that your, that the next AG that comes in with the Biden administration will try to scuttle or kill the, the Hunter investigation and or the Durham investigation? Uh, well, you know, I, before the election, as you know, uh, I designated uh, John Durham as a special counsel because I wanted to provide uh, him and, and his team uh, with assurance that they'd be able to finish their work, and they're making good progress now, and I expect they will uh, be able to finish their work. And as far as the Biden investigation, you're worried that that might they get scuttled or pushed out? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that the next administration uh, handles that matter responsibly. Does the president have the legal authority to order the seizure of voting machines around the country? And you've talked about in your past uh, the, the broad views that you have of presidential power. Does the president, mm -hmm. any president, have the authority to pardon themselves? You know, I, I, I see no basis now for seizing machines by the federal government, you know, a wholesale seizure of mach machines by the federal government. And I, you know, off the top of my head, I'm not going to opine on a constitutional issue as far as the pardon power goes. Yes. Uh, the, the president has continued to, to make the case that there was fraud in the election. You've already made your statement on that in an interview. Um, do you believe there's enough evidence to warrant appointing a special counsel to look into it, which is something that he appears to be uh, to be thinking about, perhaps Sidney Powell. Do you believe that the, there is any reason to do that? Have you already uh, uh, given your opinion on this to the president and the White House? Um, you know, as, as you said, I, I've already commented on uh, fraud. Let me just say that you know, there are fraud in, in, unfortunately, in most elections. I think we're too tolerant of it, and I'm sure there was fraud in this election. But I was commenting on uh, the extent to which we had looked at uh, suggestions or allegations of systemic or broad-based fraud that would affect the outcome of the election. And I already spoke to that, and I stand by that statement. But about the idea of appointing a special counsel, would you, would you answer a question about whether you believe there's enough there, even with your what you've already said, do you believe there's enough evidence to warrant a special counsel to investigate that, perhaps Sidney Powell or someone else? Well, if I thought a special counsel at this stage was the right tool uh, and was appropriate, I <clears throat> I would do I would name one, but I haven't, and I'm not going to. Yes, Sadie. Hi there. 